Yeah. Welcome back to the morning show. We're in the second and final, well, third and final hour of our time together. A couple of minutes before we get to 8.30 and then we wrap it up on this Think Tank Tuesday. But before we get to that, we're getting into something a little bit, how can I say, gripping and heartbreaking at the same time. If you've been following Scandal right here on ETV, you would have seen that the tragedy that has befallen Lindiwe's family. Lindiwe, who is played by Numvelo Makanya, passed away from complications with childbirth last week. A huge motherly sacrifice. After a long flight, a long fight rather, she finally gave in, leaving us with a void in the Scandal family. And today we chat to Matthews Ranzoma, who plays her husband in Tlamulo, to talk more on the death of the character Lindiwe Maseko and saying bye to actress Numvelo. Matthew, thank you so much for joining us on the morning show today. It's an entirely a pleasure, my brother. I can't imagine. I mean, even seeing you now, I'm kind of connecting to Nsamule that I saw last night. And right at the end of the show, they show that little two seconds, it feels like, a little snippet of what's going to happen in the next episode. And I mean, it's the day of the funeral and yeah. you're literally just sitting like this. And now seeing you here, I'm just like, yo, my man, it feels like a part of me should say condolences. But you should. Let's, yeah, actually. You can, it's fine. Let's go back into Matthews and Ntlamolo. Are there any similarities that we see? Because those are two key people yeah. um, that kind of their worlds collide. Are there any similarities between the two? Um, apart from loving love and loving black culture, loving black people, loving languages. Ah, there are really no similarities, my man. The fashion that you see is not me. You see me, you know. So me, I just, me, I just, listen, just like, as long clean? as I'm comfortable, my man, yeah. as long as I can walk, I'm fine, you know? Um, definitely don't have the money. <laughs> but the love of language, yeah. the love of black culture, the love of love mm. on its own is definitely there. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. those are just the similarities there. One of the things that we've all loved, and I think that's why we're drawn with compassion towards you losing your wife, is your relationship. Uh, well, let me rather say, in Tlamula's relationship yeah. with Lindiwe, yeah. um, it's been beautiful to watch. Yeah. When you join the team at Scandal, um, and as you see your character unfolding, and you see the storyline that the two of you become together, um, you get married, and you've got this beautiful marriage. What was what was it like kind of making sure that you guys portray that well that all of South Africa has fallen in love with? At first it was very it was kind of very weird for me because yeah. at the time when we grew up watching Scandal, you know. Yeah. We, especially our generation, we grew up watching Scandal, your your Nyatis, your your Lindy ways, you know. Mm. Then to find myself in the same space as her now, as the boyfriend, as the husband, hey. If something must change. It's like, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there must be a gear somewhere. Yeah. You know, and what helped me was that her and I con immediately connected the moment we started talking. Mm. And then that just kind of built nicely into this chemistry, into building this couple that, well, everyone now sees. Yeah. You know, and then with chemistry, and we became best friends on top of that. It, it just became easy. We were just playing on set yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah. You know, just pretending. I'd sometimes tease her about her partner, but that's another story for another day. <laughs> but I think it's evidence of the, the kind of relationship you had off screen, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. which translated into on screen yeah, yeah. that we see so beautifully this moment that many oh, people man. are still looking back thinking, oh, my couple, oh, man. It was just yesterday. But Let's fast forward to where we are now. Yeah. You know, you mentioned that you come into the show and there's this character that you've you've watched growing up and now you build this relationship with, you eventually get married with, you have a child with now, but the child comes at sort of a, uh, there's a juncture where things shift, where yeah. you lose her life. How easy was it to draw from yourself that type of grief and mourning of a husband because it's not mm. it's not just grief and mourning of a friend but to yeah. be able to bring that onto screen that people kind of buy into you as if you actually mm. lost your partner how easy or difficult was that for you i think it was it was fairly difficult more than easy mm. um for me what i what i tried to achieve the most was finding the truth in in every scene especially leading up to to her death and even after that. I used our relationship as, as friends to say that I'm going to be losing this best friend that we joke around with every single day on set, on set make different jokes, make, we have inside jokes and all of that. Who am I going to have that with? Sure. So I allowed all of that to come inside and then just, just, just went with it 
and try to find the truth in every single thing. Just just go and throw myself inside. Yeah. At the end of the day, what I was trying to achieve was that I'm saying goodbye to someone who welcomed me so warmly. Yeah. And, and made me feel comfortable enough for me to play with these different languages, to speak with her. Yeah. Uh, you know, and, and even though maybe 50% of the time she did not understand what I was saying. <laughs> yeah. But for the mere fact that she responds and she smiles and she's like, listen, I get you. Mm. I, I, I understand what you mean, but I just don't understand what you are saying. What you actually say, word yeah. for word. Yeah. And then yeah. It, it, just using all of that, man, all mm. of our memories, all of our, that entire um, um, chemistry, yeah. just throw it in there. You know, last night as I was watching, there was a moment as, um, I, I can't remember, I think it was um, your dad, or mm. I can't remember what it was exactly, was trying to move the clothes out of the cupboard. Yeah. And you were kind of like, no, leave the clothes. Yeah. And a little bit later, you get firm on saying the funeral is going to be tomorrow, which mm. we're going to watch tonight. Yeah. Um, and we see right at the end of the episode where you're just standing, kind of like a blank stare um, as everybody's singing, as they bring her into the house. Mm. And I remember thinking to myself, could it be that this is a moment where there's a, there's a little bit of a shift that's happening in Samulo's yeah. character um, as what we've known him, that something is changing forever yeah. from this moment before he becomes a father, yeah. uh, his output on life and kind of his sternness in saying, I am a man and mm. you will hear me from me. Are we reading the same thing? Could this be coming up? It, it, it was him deciding that. Yeah. That shift did move, especially when that casket came in. Yeah. Everything changed for him because a certain part of him then realized that this is reality. Mm. She's really gone. Mm. I'm staying with this child. But me burying her the very next day just means that I'm trying to do something for, for firstly for myself, for my child, and for her. Yeah. So that even when she rests, wherever she may be, whether she's here with us or in heaven, we don't yeah. know, she knows that he's got it covered. Mm. He, he, he looked after the child. He, he took the child as first priority, did not care what anyone else yeah. said. The child was the first priority, which was the sacrifice that she made. Look, I can tell you right now, I think all of South Africa is co-parenting Larona with you Thank because you. we're all in there. We're just like, yo, 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 the stress, <laughs> we're there with you 100%. But also as we're wrapping up this chapter, this long nine-year chapter of Nomvelo, what are some of the lessons that you say you've learned from her, from playing alongside her, from oh. working with her all the years that you've worked with her? There's a, there's a certain quality about Nomvelo that I learned mm. over time. She stands up for everything that she believes in. Yeah. She firmly puts her feet in the ground and is like, I'm not going to move. This is what I believe in. Mm. And that translated in everything else that she taught me after that. Mm. So I learned then that this person is an entirely loving person. She, she loves loving. Yeah. Love loving. So now I'm learning not to do it in hiding. Mm. Do it as proudly as you can. And that's what she does. She, she, she'll say it loudly. She's loud, she, she knows this. She's, yeah. Especially when I just start cracking those jokes, she, she'll go, you know? Yeah, she'll yeah. be laughing and laughing, but she, she's alive. Mm. She's living, she's, those are the lessons that, I'm, that I've learned from her, that love loudly, live loudly, stand boldly for what you believe in. Yeah. And ah, listen, I'll never forget that. Sure. Matthews, no, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Look, we're looking forward to uh, being a part of the funeral, but also we're looking forward to life after that and seeing yes. how your character grows, yeah. seeing you as a father yeah. and to all of us co-parenting with you on that one. So thank Please, you so much guys. for joining us. Listen. Thank you for having me. Yeah. It's been a beautiful, beautiful time. Ah, oh, fantastic. That was Matthew Zranzoma, who plays in Tlamulo on Scandal. He is here to pay tribute to his wife, Lindy Wemaseko, played by Nomvelo Makanya. We too are TMS City, Lala Ngotolo, Lindy Wemaseko, and Ngema family. We lay Lindy with to rest tonight. You want to make sure that you catch it at 7.30. Don't miss it right here on ETV. Hashtag ETV Scandal. We take a quick ad break. We'll be back after this.